Your spelling, grammar, and style checker can be a great asset as you use your word processor, but you must use this tool thoughtfully. Most word processors underline misspelled or unrecognized words with red and grammar and style concerns with green. Remember, this underlining indicates potential areas of concern. You, the writer, must determine if any of the flagged words is truly a problem. You can turn your spelling and grammar checker on and off in two ways. First, by going to the Review tab, selecting Spelling and Grammar, then clicking on the Options button in the dialog window. You can also access this menu by going to the Word icon in the top left, clicking on Word Options, then on Proofing. In the dialog box that appears, check or uncheck boxes according to your needs and preferences. For example, here you can turn off the Check Spelling as You Type option, which many writers prefer so that it doesn't interrupt their train of thought. Be sure to turn it back on when you begin the editing and proofreading stage of the writing process. There's also a Check Grammar as You Type option. Next to Writing Style, you can select to check grammar only or grammar and style together. You can also fine-tune your grammar and style choices with the settings option. At the top of the settings dialog box, notice that you can choose to check for grammar and style together or for grammar only. When grammar and style is selected, all of the style options below will be checked. However, when grammar only is selected, none of the style options is checked. The three settings under Require refer to aspects of your manuscript that may vary according to the academic style you're using. Normally, in academic writing, a comma is required before the last item in a series. Punctuation goes inside quotation marks in American English, and many texts prefer only one space after a period. Next, Adjust the grammar and style settings based upon conventions you might be using in your paper. For example, we'll turn off the options for checking for contractions, as well as the option for checking for the first person. Notice that the green lines in our manuscript no longer appear. In this list of options, there was an item that was unchecked, passive sentences. Let's turn that on and see what the checker finds now we can see that a passive sentence has been flagged. Selecting a flagged element with the right clip provides more options. The important point is this. The word processor alerted us to the problem, but has left it up to us to know enough about the problem to make our own revision, which in this case means adding a subject, then eliminating the passive verb. Next, if we right-click on the flagged word is, we see that the checker again recognizes the problem, subject-verb disagreement, and also suggests a correction, R. Reading the sentence again with R as the verb tells us that the checker was correct. So, we've seen how to use some of these tools, but we've also seen that as writers, we cannot rely solely on a computer program. Instead, we must use the information provided to make our own decisions based upon our writing and its intended audience.